Hello everybody, today we'll be talking about DJI FPV accessories ever since its launch six months ago, what's available. Stay tuned. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's the with State right here. If this is the first time to my channel, please don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the bell and now I also have a membership available for $2.99 a month you can support me if you really like my videos let's get started DJI FPV has launched six months ago roughly and a lot a lot of accessories actually are on the market I was able to purchase some of these and um, I'm still in the making of getting me more and more over time as time permits to start off with, the first thing as an accessory that I found very neat is an itty bitty little $5 pad that you can purchase as an insert for your glasses. What that does is it first off holds your antennas. The antennas are safely secured within this area right over here and then you will be able to actually insert it into your glasses. The reason why you want to pick up one like these is simply because first of all you're not going to lose your antennas because they're all going to be together in one spot right here inside of your glasses the second part is that if you have them installed if you have this installed inside of your glasses and you go to the outside the glasses and the goggles itself are very sensitive to sunlight it protects your goggles in your glasses so you don't get those nasty little burn spots a very very good accessory for five bucks i don't think you can grumble about that next on the list would be nd filters i bought the pack from freewell which comes with four ND filters, the 4, the 8, the 16, and the 32. And let me tell you, image quality wise, it has changed it. The camera on the FPV is not the greatest, but with those ND filters, you're gonna be able to tickle the most out of your drone. And I think it's well worth spend the money on that one. Next on the list, I have these battery bumpers right over here. Since most of you guys know that this DJI FPV is capable of acro mode, a lot of people who are actually experienced with acro mode tend to fly with acro mode and also take off and land. Because of the positioning of the battery, the way it's actually mounted, the battery takes the major impact upon approach of landing and takeoff because it's sitting literally on the battery. Original Dobo came out with these beautiful little rubber bumpers that he 3D printed that are available in his Etsy store. You can find the link in the description below. You can fit these onto any of these batteries and depending on how many batteries that you have, you will have the capability of having these extra bumpers on the bottom to protect your investment, to protect your battery of scratches, of scrapes, of maybe even dirt to get into the bottom, which are pretty useful. Also with the kit comes these little feet protectors right over here for those of you who actually land in acro mode. Me personally, I haven't really used them because in order to land, I actually utilize the safety function and I land just like a regular GPS drone and I never really got around this stuff. But I think that these battery bumpers are actually very useful. Next on the list, I picked me up some of these. When you look at this controller in itself, I did not like how short the initial sticks were on the input. I like them when they're a little bit longer because it gives you a little bit more leverage on the top to hold it like this. So you will also find the link in the description below. You can rise them, you can lower them. There is a small golden cap on the top that holds these extension in place. You will be able to adjust these to your liking. Next on the list that I have right over here is the phone mount. This phone one was also created by Original Dobo. You'll find the link in the description below because this just simply clips on and you can mount your phone inside there in case you want to run updates or even if you want to fly your drone based on this view right over here, you want, you're want you going to be able to plug it in, run the wire to your phone or to the device that you want. And as you can see, it's solid. It doesn't, it doesn't come off at all. Um, there is a second version that allows with an opening in the bottom where you can actually place a lanyard in the bottom over here. Um, I opted for the regular clip-on version, which allows me to mount my device on the top of this controller. And I actually got to utilize it quite a few times when I wasn't really willing to use my goggles or anything else. Another very useful add-on also created by Original Dobo is this action camera cap. 
There are multiple on the market and this was one of the first ones to be available. So I picked this one up and um, mounted it on with the original screws. So you take off one, two, three, four screws, which are the originals that two will be provided to you from DJI when you pick up the box. And the good part is you take those four screws out, you put this on the top and you put the original four screws back and it perfectly fits just like this in order to be able to mount any of your action cameras on top, such as Insta360, GoPro, or anything else that you actually intend to mount on the top over here, or even the Go 2. He also invented something to mount on in the back side over here where you can mount the Go 2 in the back like this. I haven't gotten to get that yet, but once I do, I will post a video because I also have a Go 2 coming in the mail right now. Next on the list for me personally, it was a aesthetic kind of thing i didn't like that it was just plain black and white or black and gray and um so i went on to decal girl um decal girl's website i bought a decal kit which is called the thin blue line and it comes with literally everything the good part about it is decal girl has a very good pricing on that it's 40 dollars, which includes the controller which includes the drone itself the outer shell one of the batteries and the goggles you can choose pretty much how far you want to go with it there were certain parts that i just didn't apply because the, the parts are black already so why would i put black stickers on it so i just left those off the stickers are of high grade quality they are more like a vinyl kind of thing so they are they are movable and the good part is if you did not manage to get it the first time right if you move these stickers around, as you can see here, while you put them on, you can always slowly peel them back off. The sticker does not deform and it doesn't attach. You know, when you get sometimes such aggressive glue, once you touch a plastic piece, all of a sudden the thing will like come back off or it, it rips the sticker. Decal Girl stuff is very, very detailed. It's very fitting. Um, it made it look super, super good. I really like it. It has the one for the controller right over here. And then also for the goggles itself over here as well it has these goggles um these goggles stickers all over and it has a very 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 good description as well the description is very detailed it shows you in detail of, of each number where each sticker goes and i can only recommend it and they have choke choke designs they have plenty designs that you can choose from from football teams over to law enforcement over to uh crazy graffiti to uh, blue angels to all kinds of stuff. They have all kind of good stuff. I would say check it out link in the description below as well You can check it out and I can only recommend their their decal stickers because I purchased something before For my parrot and back then it was some cheap China made stuff and that sticker stuff was horrible because Once I decided I didn't want it anymore and I tried to take it off that adhesive that was on it. Oh my goodness It was horrors to take off next on the list I would say is also very helpful it's made by original dobo there are also multiple on the market but he was one of the first ones to bring it out which is the battery strap holder and a wire holder that actually mounts into your goggles with the original screws you take off the old one you put this one on and it's a nice design he has it on his etsy store as well it fits the battery perfectly and it has a small um, tie wrap stuff or, or velcro tie wrap in the bottom to manage your wire so that you can put this on I know some people said oh I don't know if I want to have the battery um, on my head when it blows up or when it heats up well I tell you one thing all right I have it on my head then close to my nutsack <laughs> besides that these ones are the fat straps the fat straps are the best thing investment in this whole thing I actually ordered me two more just in case these ones wear out which I don't think is going to happen in the near future, but these things are bangers. They make it feel so much more comfortable to wear these glasses, these goggles, and it's, it's, I, I, I don't, I can't even see myself not using it anymore. These fat straps are amazing. They're really good. And in combination with Dobo's battery holder, um, pfft, this is pretty much like the best accessory because it makes it feel so much more better. And plus I'm a pretty boy. I like, I like my hair nice. Yeah. So, the old strap goes right in the middle and then when you walk away you look like Wolverine having to bounce out to the side so 
Next on the list, I have these battery holders. These battery holders are an STL file print that I found somewhere online. I'll post the link in the description below. I hope uh, that I still have it laying around somewhere. But a friend of mine, actually, because I don't have a 3D printer, he printed it out for me, uh, a nice black one. Now these battery holders, you actually can fit the original charging port station right on the top part of this. And then you're gonna be able to clip in these batteries just as such right over here. And you're gonna be able to charge your batteries and leave them just like this. I think it's a great addition, especially if you have a hard case and you cut out the opening for that hard case um, for this square right over here. You're gonna be able to actually have these things within your hard case. I've seen a couple guys do it and um, I actually have one extra white one left right over here, which I will be giving away so if you want a chance to win this one within the next 48 hours of this video, I will be picking a random winner out of all the comments. You need to be subscribed to my channel and you need to like this video uh, and definitely comment in the section below so that I'm going to be able to give it away to you or contact you somehow to um, get this to you. All right. Next on the list, I would say is the SD card. I prefer the Samsung Evo Select. Um, it has a fast writing speed. As you can see here in the footage, you're gonna see that there's no laggings whatsoever. The writing speed is sufficient enough to film in 4K at 60 FPS. They don't cost a fortune. They run sometimes on good sales from $20 all the way up to more expensive part, which is like more than $45 range that I've seen in. But um, usually they're very affordable. I bought me probably like eight and I've been using it with the DJ FPV constantly because I can utilize it in there. And I have the small SanDisk, um, 32 gigs, inside the goggles in order to record my goggles as well, just in case something goes wrong with this guy. Now, besides the accessories that I showed you here that I personally have experienced and that I've seen and that I have bought and have been used, there are multiple more accessories that I haven't gotten to get my hands on yet. I have seen them and I have experienced them based on that other people have bought them and I flew with those things. One of them is the controller arms. So what that does, it, it braces the arms in between here. In case of an impact, there's supposed to be more stability. I don't know about that, because a friend of mine crashed it. He wasn't even going that fast. He clipped the branch, but the way the drone turn, turned off, she hit the ground, both of his arms got broken off. I believe if he wouldn't have had that bracing arm, he probably could have preserved one of his arms. Um, but I mean, that's just speculation. I'm not intending to purchase those because I'm not a big fan of it. Neither am I a big fan of that look because it makes it look more look square and boxy. And this is a very nicely designed drone. Now, if you want to fly it and you want to utilize this drone for anything more than just the cinematic style, you should get into FPV and build your own because those ones are way more robust and they will save you a lot more money. Next on the list for accessories that are available, they are now propeller clips that are available to mount aftermarket propellers. You don't have to go with the originals as I have them here. There's a plate that you remove on the top of these. Um, I have some on the way right now. They weren't available at the time of this video, but I have seen very, very good results based on that people were able to buy cheaper and better aftermarket propellers to mount onto their DJI FPV drone. And I think it's well worth the money. If you want, check out Original Dolvo's channel. On there, he has reviewed a couple of those propellers and definitely he will be able to guide you to the right direction to actually mount these um, plates on top to mount aftermarket propellers. Now that was it for today's episode right over here. If you guys liked it, don't forget like, subscribe, hit the bell if you want to see more of me. And if you really want to support me, don't forget, click the join button. It's $2.99 a month. It helps me cover pretty much everything that has to do with this channel financially, uh, music, SFX, and everything else. And then any other profits I will be making off this with ads, with affiliate programs, and everything else, I will be able to put towards giveaways to give to you guys. Until then, please don't forget, COVID-19 is still out there to get you. My brother just had it. He's in a really, really bad shape and he has a long way of recovery ahead of him. Be a nice human, wear a mask, and wash your hands. Love you all, aloha.